Yeah. So Sean's got a, a lowerable system here or a, a rescue base tie on this fir tree. So the climber would be on this leg of line on the back side. And say the climber got injured and they're way up there. What Sean can do is since he has put a butterfly knot in here before the line was loaded and then clipped a carabiner, a micro pulley and his climbing system to it with a double rope technique or a double rope system. He can, he can, he can basically, what he could do is he can come in here and he can clip this system to his saddle and he can load it with his body weight. And then that will add slack here. And then basically what we can do is just untie this base anchor and it's secured on Bailey or sorry, Sean here. You're not Bailey. <laughs> um, and then he can lower the climber on that leg of line all the way to the ground in a very controlled manner. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool thing. You don't need a lot of fancy tools. All he has here is just a double rope system he probably already uses. So if you've got two climbers on your crew, then you probably already have this equipment and it only takes a second to add it to a base anchor. If you don't add this to the base anchor before you load it, then you're gonna have a real hard time trying to attach any sort of system to make it lowerable and you're gonna have to do a completely different aerial rescue procedure, so. And it's a totally different story too if the climber aloft in the tree is flipped in. That's gonna make it harder. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. So if the climber has a flip line, you're still gonna have to get up there and detach that flip line. Or if they're lodged, you know, in a place where you can't simply lower them, you probably won't have the ability to get them lifted off that limb or whatever. 